Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're looking at how to add records to a collection variable in Flow. It is a little bit confusing at first, um, but it, once you kind of get the hang of it, it's not too bad. Today we're going to be using a record triggered flow based on the account object and kind of the theoretical case that we're using today is if you update a field on the account object, you may want to send a notification to all the contacts associated to them, but you want to collect all the contact IDs to a collection variable. How are we going to do that with Flow? So we're just going to jump straight into it. So we're going to go back over here to Flow. I've got a simple record trigger flow set up for us based on the contact object. If a record is created or updated and the active status is changed to and that's set to true. Next, we're going to go ahead and we are going to do a get element. So we're going to get records and we're going to call this get contact records. Now it's based on the contact object. And now we need to set the, the criteria, how we're going to filter the records. So we're going to be looking at the account ID equals the account ID of the record that triggered the flow. And now right here, we need to make sure we select all records on what we're going to store. If you select only the first record, as soon as it finds a contact record that matches the criteria, it will stop. So we want to store all the records and I'm just going to go ahead and store all the fields as well. We're going to hit done. Next, we need to create a collection variable to store all these IDs that we just gathered. So we're actually going to hit new resource on the left. We're going to hit variable and we can call it whatever we want. I want to call this contact IDs. And under data type, it's going to be text and allow multiple values collection. Make sure you select that. And I'm going to hit available for input and output as well. Next, we can hit our little plus sign here and we are going to set up a loop. Now we can call this loop anything we want. I'm going to call it contact. And then now it's saying select the collection variable. We're going to select the get contact from get contact records because that's the IDs that we want to send into the loop so that it can be added to the collection variable. We're going to hit done. Now we can have a plus sign here and we're going to use an assignment variable. Now we can call this whatever we want. I'm going to have this um, add to collection. And on the variable values here, you're going to want to select the new collection variable we just created called contact IDs. Change the operator to add. And over here, the value, you're going to select the current item from loop contact, and you're going to want to add the ID. So contact ID, and we're going to hit done. What the flow does is once this is triggered, it comes in, it's going to get all the contact records associated to the account. And then when it comes into a loop, it sends them one at a time to the add to collection element and it adds it to our new collection variable called contact IDs. Now we're going to go ahead and hit save and debug this and test on the Timberline Hills account to see if it sends all four contact IDs in, if it grabs any extra, if it doesn't grab enough. Let's see what happens. So we're going to debug. I'm going to skip the start requirements and I'm going to select the Timberline Hills account and we're going to hit run. As you can see, it was completed. The little gold here shows us it made it all the way to the end. And if you come over to your right side and select the add to collection assignment dropdown, there they are. There's the four record IDs. And I don't know if you know this, but if you grab the record ID listed here, you come over to your URL and you take out all the way up to .com, but leave in the slash there, paste in your record ID and hit enter and it'll take you to your record. Some of y'all probably already know that though. And as you can see here, Mr. Arthur Song is associated to the Timberline Hills account, which is perfect. So that worked awesome. And we have one, two, three, and four records that it grabbed, which is how many that was associated to the Timberline Hills account, as you can see here. And in this little sandbox org, I have plenty of accounts, so we would know if it grabbed anything associated to any of these other accounts. Now you may be asking, okay, well, now that I got them in a collection, what would I do with them? Well, you can hit edit flow. Now, once they're added to a collection, you could come in and do an action and send an email, push notification, maybe a custom notification that you created. But that is how you add the record IDs to a collection variable in flow. So if you found this video useful, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. And I'll see you in the next one.